Good evening. People living in a South Fargo neighborhood say they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Several homes going up in flames near Davies High School this afternoon. The house fire also caused damage to the homes on each side. Valley News team's Jillian Trudeau spoke with several people living nearby and the Fargo Fire Department who say the wind played a major role. The air was black. Like now you could see the sunlight, but it was black, black smoke everywhere. Just around noon, the Fargo Fire Department received a call for a house fire in the 2200 block of 57th Avenue South. When they got there, two houses were in flames and a third house was starting to melt. Battalion Chief Lee Soweth says the winds played a role in the fire spreading. There's a lot of circumstances why um, that it happens. One, how close they are, it does affect it a little bit, but a lot of it is the wind. And we just had a perfect wind today for this fire. And once it got external, so it went outside the house, that it, it leaped over to the, the other one. As of now, the cause and origin of the fire is unknown. It was kind of like, okay, what's going on? I wanted to be nosy, so I came outside and from my garage way in the back. And when I came outside, all you could see was like pitch black. There was smoke everywhere. The garage was on fire. The whole house roof was on fire. Some neighbors were home when the smoke billowed and others came home to the neighborhood blocked off with a line of emergency vehicles. So I came here now. I can't even go to my house and I don't know how my children are safe in the house. There was one homeowner home when the fire crews arrived and they were able to exit safely and no reported injuries from the incident. And that lady, she worked so hard to have that house and my neighbor too. All two my neighbors, I know them very well. Yeah, it's so bad. It's so scary. The scary part is like that could have been my house, you know, that really could have been my house. and. Seeing somebody else's house on fire, their hard work going to a place like that, it's like, dang. Jillian Trudeau, Valley News Live. And the cause of that fire is still under investigation. Let's go to.